Covina Wilson is joining us. I should have plugged in my drill last night to charge it. So we're now we're using the Russian manicure drill bit to go in and prep everything, get rid of all that crusty molasses because we're going to be doing the black French today in long sculpted coffin. That's Sherry's favorite shape, I think, right? Yeah. Sherry's like, I always need my, my coffin, my long sculpted coffin. Look how beautiful everything just goes in and it cleans everything out. And it feels so clean too, doesn't it? Do you have any exciting plans for the weekend, Sherry? Uh, no. No. No? Well, it's been raining so bad here, you guys. Our monsoon this year has been some of, one of the wettest monsoons that I can remember in a really long time. It just rains and rains and rains, and I hate the rain. Ugh. Last night it rained all night almost, didn't it? I mean, what it did. It did. So glad I don't live in Seattle. Or the Pacific Northwest. It rains every day, I think. <laughs> Me too. But sometimes it gets so hot here, you guys, you can see the pavement dancing. Hi, good day, mate. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're 103 views. Wow. Give away, give away. So at the end of the video, if you stay with us, Sherry is gonna pick a winner, winner chicken dinner, but you gotta stay till the end. You gotta watch till the end. Hi from Maryland, thanks for joining us today. Hi from Fiji. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. We're going to use the diamond moon drill bit. We'll push back that cuticle one more time. The more you push, the more nail estate you will have. I am going to color my roots tomorrow. I'm going to change the, well not change the bundle out, the same one, but I'm going to lighten it because it's a little bit too dark for me. I hate dark roots. But some people really like it though. The ombre. I love Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hi from Ohio. I've never been there. We're going to take the diamond moon bit. Can you guys see? Focus camera. And start all the way on the side and very gently go over the entire perimeter of the skin. So we're going to remove all that dry non-living tissue and then slightly gently on the nail bed. Hey, 520 in the house, thanks for watching. Like and share this video, you guys. If we reach 200 views, we'll do two giveaways. We'll give away a tube of Eternal Beige Happy Gel, and we'll give away a tube of Pink DIY Gel. See, it just comes right off. Look at that, so beautiful. Wow. Well, congratulations. Let's make sure we get all that dry skin off. Hi from Disneyland. Stunning. Sherry, she didn't eat, you guys, and I ate before we filmed. I was showing Sherry some stuff, and 
Step in my face with a salad. But it looks good. Well, because I was so tired of eating the pre-made like delivery meals. And they have a lot of sodium in them too. Okay. Yeah, any kind of frozen food in general is always super high in sodium. Like excessively ridiculously large amounts, because that's what helps keep it from going bad. And we're talking like 700 milligrams of sodium. So you're like, oh, this doesn't have so much calories. And then you look at the sodium and it's like, whoa, why are my, why is everything so tight around my ankles? I heard Jenny Craig food is pretty decent and it has low sodium, but I've never had Jenny Craig. Does that still exist? Uh huh. You know what I mean? Watch TV and watch commercials. Remember back in the day, Jenny Craig commercials were a thing? Call Jenny now. And feet too. I'm saying the mini stiletto. Oh, the mini stiletto, she is ready. She says they still are. Jenny Craig? What is Jenny Craig exactly? Isn't it like points or something? I remember it was like, it's uh, something plus the cost of food in the commercial. Right, right. I think they do point. Let's measure the phalanges. These are the black French long sculpted coffin, which is Sherry's favorite shape. Black French for the fantasy, for the kill. Now it's all online. Back in the day, oh, back in the day they used to. Oh, make them get blood tests. Yeah, I got blood. I got a blood test too for my um, dietitian for the diet clinic I go to. Yeah, I've done. Um, Gold, uh, Dr. Posman? Yes. Mm -hmm. How much is he? Is he expensive? You know what? Not like the other ones. I got a Red Mountain. Mm -hmm. And then they but, have all these other things that you have to get too. Yeah, but they Red Mountain? Yes. I feel like I've kind of like plateaued a little bit. What's the apple thing? Um, when I did them, it was like a. Uh, Apples? I'm not doing the HC. Uh, oh, I'm not doing that one. No, that is way too strict for me. Yeah, I did that one. It's like 600 calories a day at the most, right? Yeah. A lot. That's a really hard diet. You have to be super disciplined. No eating out, and I love eating out, or I hate cooking, or, or anything like that, so that would not work for me. Just a little coat of primer. Yeah, of course, it's sherry. Sit down on it. And then we're going to go in with a nice coat of pink press on gel. It's going to be our base. And I'm going to very gently float it onto the nail to build out her, her natural apex. Oh, so it was Jenny Craig that did the food. Was the food good? Does anybody know? Food, but also 
looking at calorie that? counting. Right. But and it was just the point seven, right? I think so. So you have to sit within your points to lose weight. Really? How did you feel? Was it pretty good? Did you lose a lot of weight fast? The older you get, the harder it is. Oh my gosh, at my age? Ugh. So hard. Wow, with which one? Right, she's the one that said she could live. Wow, that's incredible. Good for you. Yeah, congratulations. Did you do the food or did you just do the um, point counter? Wow, that's awesome. Congratulations. We're going to turn it upside down just for a few seconds, about 10 or so, to let the gel self level out. Beautiful. Let's bake this for one minute. What? Lose 100 pounds? Guess what, Grandpa's? Real? You are not that heavy. To, lose, to get on gastric bypass, you have to be at least 100 pounds overweight. You are not 100 pounds overweight. Ah, I need another gastric bypass. No, yes, I do. No. I think how much did I lose on gastric bypass? I need a calculator for that number. I lost 356 pounds off of the gas with that pounds. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's been a few years already. Well, because I've been... Nine years. I did it nine years ago. It'll be ten years next year. The ten-year anniversary. I started doing your nails. Yo yoing. Well, oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Amen to that. We're gonna take pink press on Joe, which is the bottom chick. What? She put my problem with diets is that the list of foods I will eat is a lot shorter than the list of foods I will not. And like every diet is like they're always changing too. And it's like isn't science supposed to be the same all the time? Like bananas have been around forever. And then sometimes they're like, oh don't eat a banana, and they're like, eat a banana. So I asked the the um the uh, practitioner at Red Mountain, I was like, if I'm still hungry after I have my meal, what should I eat? And she was like, um, sugar-free jello. I was like, doesn't that have like more chemicals in it though? Do the inside first, you guys, when you're using pink press-on gel on the French. So that way it freezes and then do the top. And then roll over, press down firmly, squeeze any excess out. Because the nails are semi-sheer, we want to freeze for just a little bit longer for that fantasy, but look at that. Beautiful. Doesn't that look like a sculpted nail? Look at that. So sick, Sherry. It makes your hand look so long and skinny. <laughs> it's like instant uh, gratification. That's awesome. That's awesome. Make sure you take lots of vitamins. Make sure you stay really hydrated. 
make sure you take really good care of your skin because one of the worst side effects from uh, any kind of weight loss surgery that they do not tell you about is your hair falling out and your skin drying out and the older you are the more it ages you because your body doesn't absorb all the nutrients that it used to before sad especially for women too a lot of them like for like breast and things like that okay yeah it's really bad guys i i'm 107 years old and i had to have a thigh lift where they cut the inner skin on the thigh gonna freeze her a little bit longer So weight loss should not be taken seriously. And the faster you lose it, the like worse it is for you. But the first couple like the first couple of months you have to lose it really fast because your stomach is still like uh de swelling from the surgery and everything. So like you can't eat anything and if you eat too fast you throw up, if you eat the wrong things you're gonna throw up and yeah. Because the inside of the stomach where the, all the sutures are and like that don't get oxygen, so they take longer to heal. Like after or? or? Yeah, like, uh, usually it's because they don't take care of themselves. So make sure you take really good care of yourself after. Follow all the rules that the doctor does. Don't drink alcohol anymore if you drink alcohol. Don't drink milk, don't do cheese. I remember my nutritionist said, you don't see a pig sucking on a cow, why should a human? <laughs> because your body isn't designed to uh, like digest uh, dairy products, he said. nail video to a health lifestyle video yeah because a lot of people after they have the surgery within the, the first five years are the hardest because a lot of people lose it really fast and then they gain it all back because the stomach remember children is a muscle so it'll stretch back to what it used to be and there's a lot of different uh, uh, surgeries they do also for um, weight loss. There's I think five bariatric surgeries. So the first one is the balloon. Maybe you could do that one. Yeah. yeah. That one's not that common in the U in the US, but you can go down to like Nogales and do it. So for Mexico for, for those of you that don't know what Nogales is. And basically what they do is they put a silicone balloon inside your stomach and then they take it out after like three to six months. Oh, really? So it helps take up the space in your stomach so that way you uh, feel full uh, and you eat less because there's something already in your stomach. Mm -hmm. And it's non-invasive, it's done like super fast, under like, I don't think you even need anesthesia, just open up and off you go. And if like the balloon ruptures or anything like that, you basically just uh, defecate it. Or they uh, go in through your uh, esophagus and take it out. Cleaning the nails, what do you mean by that, love? Our nails are already pre-etched and they're good to go straight out of the bag so you don't have to do absolutely anything to them. And I remember I was so nervous to get it done. I was like, is this the right thing? And I remember like talking to like my clients and my friends and I was like, is it safe for me? Because my mom was really pushy for me to get it. She was like, I don't want to wake up one day and find you dead asleep. Because <laughs> I was so big, because I was 544 pounds. Look at that, you're so seamless. But uh, I'm glad I did. 
And I was like, maybe if I just lose 100 pounds, I'll be healthy. I'll be okay. And then after you lose, like, because I was so big, after losing 100 pounds, it doesn't really, you don't really notice it that much. Because it's like taking off a, off a care off a hamel, camel. I think I had the first tummy tuck at after like a year and a half, almost two years of, of losing weight. But then I, I uh, had another one. A whole body looked faster to remove more skin. And they never tell you, they're all like, oh, you know, the skin will shrink back. It never does. Oh, so, the surgery. So there's the balloon, and then there's the lap band. Remember a while ago, everybody was doing lap bands? Because they're pretty easy to do, but they charge a lot of money for it. So a lap band is they basically put a rubber band around your stomach, and then they fill it up with uh, saline. To make it tighter or looser. And that will like kind of make your stomach So it's like putting a rubber band around your stomach almost. Where you just can't eat so much? Yeah. But then there was like so many complications from it. So I don't know if they still do them or not. But for a while they were like super common. Did you get the body lift in the US? Yes, I did my second body lift last year. I did it here in Tucson. And I actually am not really happy with it to be honest. No? No. I don't like the scar on the front. It's really weird looking. But nobody sees it, so it doesn't really matter that much. But I still, I, I would get it uh, uh, touched up, at least the front. And then we're gonna trim that little axis right there. Beautiful. We're going to bake this for 30 seconds because we're going to do a little coat of pink press on gel on the inside. She said lap band, rarely used in the US now. And it used to be so popular. Everybody and their mom was getting lap bands like 10 plus years ago. So there's the lap band, it's a balloon lap band, uh, the sleeve, that was another one they used to do a lot because they don't have to do any kind of rerouting for the intestine. With gastric bypass, they do reroute for the intestine. The sleeve, so the sleeve is basically they cut your stomach uh, to the shape of a banana. We're going to do a little bit of pink press on gel on the inside to hide the line of demarcation. So they cut your stomach to the shape of a banana and they don't reroute your intestine. And then the gastric bypass is they cut your stomach to the size of about a, a golf ball and they, they reroute the intestine so that way you uh, bypass, hence where gastric bypass, uh, the, the food bypasses the, the intestine. And then there's another one that's rarely used but it's supposed to be like the most uh, strongest uh, weight loss surgery. It's called the durinal switch, and they cut, yeah, uh, they completely remove or cut the like the small intestine or one of those. So that way, basically, whatever you eat, you uh, poop it out right away. So, what do you prefer to drink? Since your surgery. Drink like as in uh, like what I drink every day. Could you be more specific with the question, please?
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to be really careful with it. Yeah, pretty much. But she's always going to be anemic though. Because her body doesn't absorb pretty much any nutrient, it just bypasses everything. Which is also not healthy. See, look at that you guys, it creates a really flawless nail bed. So beautiful. Make sure you apply it in the mouth and the inside. Crystallite. Uh, Crystallite, please sponsor me. <laughs> it's Antonia. He drinks Crystallite. I love Crystallite. Especially the caffeine one. The wild strawberries one, I buy them by the packs. You see me at the store, I take the whole shelf. Just give me all that Crystallite. But I do have to be careful because the really dark ones uh, stay in my teeth. Oh, really? Yeah. That's because I have my teeth are fake. Anybody didn't know that, now you do. You didn't know I had veneers? Really? That's why my teeth are so pretty. Um, you have to be careful, so like no red, well I don't drink red wine anyway, but like no red wine, I can't bite an apple. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna bake it for 30 seconds, upside down. So many restrictions. You want to hear something else about me? At night, when I sleep, I wear a face mask. Like it's like a chin mask. Like, have you ever seen um, Duffy Come Her? Yes. And when uh, Meryl Streep wakes up and she has her face wrapped up, I sleep like that. <laughs> That's why my face is so narrow, and because it also uh, helps with um, pulling everything up. Because when you get to be my age, you guys, you gotta make sure you keep everything up gravity and then because press on gel and DIY gel do not dry, dry, dry tack free we're going to do a little coat of shiny gel on the inside to seal everything make sure it's nice and dry We're gonna bake it for one minute to make sure all those layers normal. We're gonna bake it for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp to make sure everything is baked perfectly on the inside. Where did you buy the mask you wear? Um, the company I got it from is called Monero. Or Monero, yeah, something with an M. Monero? Monero? Something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I'm a thousand years old. When I was a kid, I used to play with dinosaurs. <laughs> I was talking to my friend Wendy last night, and I was telling her that they're remaking the monsters. And she's like, that old show in black and white? And I was like, yes, they're remaking it. Rob Zombie's going to direct that. That'll be really interesting. Yeah. Did you ever see the monsters? Yes. Did they have a daughter or just a little boy? Just the, little boy. the little werewolf boy? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna do the inside for 30 seconds just to make sure. And Jackie was a grandfather, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wasn't it like a cousin? Like she was pretty and every they were like, why is she so weird? Yeah. Thank you! That's right, ride or die. Mm -hmm. Just Eddie and Denise. Denise, Denise Marilyn. Marilyn. I wonder who's going to be the new Marilyn. Denise Elizabeth. But she was not a monster.
So the the mom was a, a vampire, like vampire or something. And they're like, why is she so weird? <laughs> Man, that show is like from what the fifties or something. I think so. It's like super yeah, old, yeah. yeah. Love the file. It'll be back in stock really soon in the upcoming weeks, you guys. The new uh, metal replacement for the Fantastic File. Because it's laser engraved now, so it takes a lot longer for the laser engravement to process. And then it has to go through quality control to make sure that everything is perfect after the mass production and then packaging. And then she is ready to ship. late 60s then why isn't it black and white I thought the television was in color already by the 60s power top and verse fit and a little bit of amphetone just to make sure she's nice and clean I'm gonna go back to France. Are they letting tourists in now in France? I want to go there. Go to the Moulin Rouge. I've never been to the Moulin Rouge. No. I did go to the Crazy Horse. That was one of the like on things on my bucket list that I wanted to do before I die. Was to go to the Crazy Horse in France. It's a show. With the uh, dancing ladies. Very classy though, very tasteful. The French, they're so classy for everything. Yeah, they're filming it. Uh, they're gonna start filming it actually around Halloween. But it doesn't look very good, to be honest with you. No. No. It's not gonna be a theatrical release, so the budget's not gonna be that great. And um, it's uh, the storyline is not that nothing nothing to cry home about, which is kind of sad. And also, it's a different director too, which is even more unfortunate. We're gonna use the power top bit to blend in the cuticle. Get that cuticle snatch for the fans to see. Because Sarah Jessica Parker right now is filming the new Sex in the City series. Did you ever watch that? No. How would I you never that? watched Sex in the City? I Sarah Jessica Parker? Yeah. Oh, the show was so good. I watched on DVD though. She's so ugly, she's pretty, definitely. But the show is so good though, but you really like get hooked on it. Do you watch American Horror Story? I watched some of it and mm -hmm. then I never got into it? Yeah. I got some of them and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> there was that one. I know I hear the, the, the people that work here, they're like, oh, did you watch this series on Netflix or something like that? I'm like, I don't have Netflix anymore. It, it got it, like so expensive and I found myself not watching it as much, especially because most of the content was original. I was like, I don't even know who these people are. <laughs> Netflix? It was right before it went up. 
$19.99. And I get emails that are like, Max, come back and only pay eight, eight, eight something for like the first month. I'm like, yeah, what's the point? I pay like 50 bucks for Hulu and I don't even use it that much. Power Top. This is a brand new bit. It's called Power Top Drill Bit. And it blends in the phalange so beautifully. Hi from Ireland. I have to admit though, I do like Irish television. There's a show called First Date Ireland. And I like, uh, I like how they talk. It's funny when the people don't get along you. <laughs> On dating shows. Do you remember that dating show, Blind Date? Yes. They would show it at night. Oh, that show was so good. Do you use certain bits from certain products? Um, not necessarily, no. Because I like to show how versatile the bits are and how much you can do with them. What's the... Uh, right now, the first one I was using it at 24,000 RPM. Here as much as I can because her cuticle kind of grows funky on this finger because she's got a writer's bump and I want it super super blended. So now we're going to go in with the first bits. And very very gently blend in that fantasy. The mixer bit also does this really beautifully. And you want the nail like as blended as much as possible because remember you can't buff the surface of the nail when you're using either the French or the ombre nails. Because remember the French and the ombre effects are hand painted. And if you buff the top surface, you will remove it. So we want to keep that, the integrity of that part of the nail as beautiful as possible. So avoid that at all costs. We're not reshaping the nail, we're just tailoring it. What was the question? It'll make it look just like this how you're looking at it on camera. If it, you think it's too pink, you can apply it with clear, but you would still have to apply pink at the line of demarcation. And you're also more than welcome to put a sheer color on top to uh, customize it if you want to. Now we're gonna take a Oh, I haven't checked yet, actually. I should. You're welcome. That's the great thing is you can easily customize it to suit um, whatever aesthetic or style you want. You can apply some A pink on top. You can apply some sheer color on top. You can do glitter. You can do rhinestones. It's all about having fun. Living the pink fantasy. For real, that is a true testimony right there. Let's turn this hand upside down, make sure everything is nice and even. Now we're gonna remove all that dust. Super fast. We're gonna 
Awesome, thank you, I appreciate that. I hope you guys get a chance to try out the pink DIY gel too, cause she is stunning. So now we're gonna go in with nail prep and we're going to apply it at the line of demarcation of the cuticle area. And then just a little swipe over the entire phalange just to clean it really well. Because remember, we can't buff the nail. So this will kind of do the action for us. Aren't they beautiful? So elegant looking. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So we're going to do a little coat of shiny. And we're going to cure that for 30 seconds so that way we have a rubbery base to apply the um, sticker. Do you like the Purge movies? Yes. Have you seen the new new one? The Forever Purge? Mm, I think I do. I think I do. I finally saw the first and the second one. I didn't like the second one. The first one was okay. Mm -hmm. They told me um, the election one is pretty good actually. Awesome! I appreciate that testimony. That's so dope. Max, then <laughs> you're gonna get rid of all the men. Why does she want to get rid of all men? <laughs> Look at how beautiful it looks, and it's not even like it's just black French, it's so chic. We're gonna bake that 30 seconds. We're gonna get our stickers ready. Look how pretty are you guys? It's true, the, that is essential. The more stickers you use, the better the design. So I always recommend using at least three sheets of stickers for the best overall design. So with this one, for something to accent it, we need something that goes along these lines. So if I don't find anything that's like 100, we'll probably just add more rhinestones just to um, dress it up a little bit more so it's not so plain. Do you know what I mean? The diamonds. Because aren't they a girl's best friend anyway? Like Marilyn Monroe uh, said. And yes, <laughs> women love horses too. So we'll just bring it out, you guys. It's been a while since we've done a lot of things. That's what they said. A kiss on the hand can be quite continental. But diamonds are a girl's best friend. Is that true, Lena? Any question you might have about Eno Couture Australia, just message them directly and they'll be able to help you out, sweetie. But they are getting stock all the time too. They have been really killing the game on uh, working to make, uh, to ensure that they have a little bit of everything. It's kind of hard to keep up with me because I am crazy and I just want to new charts all the time. Lena, is uh, a kiss on the hand 
quite continental, but diamonds are girls' best friend. Is that true? Are diamonds your best friend, Lena? You love the diamonds. Huh? <laughs> In Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I don't own any Bitcoin, do you? Uh, my husband. They own Bitcoin? Bah. Did they get it a long time ago or fairly recently? I didn't even get Tesla. They're too expensive now. But I did get Tesla's biggest rival. Well, the new Tesla, supposedly. This company that was started by former Tesla employees called Lucid. And I got some shares and I was like, well, I'm just gonna sit on it and see what happens. Shares? Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I didn't know that you like, I thought you have to buy like a whole share. You can own like one, one sixteenth or something like that of a share. Like a horse too, like some people own like a hoof basically. Yep. Race horses. Yep. But Bitcoin scares me though. I'm like, what happens when the feds get involved? Then it's game over. That's that's what scares me. We don't mess with Uncle Sam. He wants his taxes. I don't know how Where are we investing it? Yeah. Dodge coin? Too big, huh? What do you think, Sherry? No. Sherry's like, no, it's too small. Shares like the harder they come, the harder they fall. Mm -hmm. You can never have too many diamonds. So the big ones, try to focus them more on the flatter part of the phalange. Since these are sculpted, there really is no part, flat part of it. So you just gotta make sure that it fits okay, and then just go back in and apply gel around it to make sure that it sits pretty well in the nail, so that we don't have any uh, issues with it. right here so it's not going to sit flat.
Isn't that pretty? As you guys know, you can never have enough. If someone says that's too much, you just say that's just enough. Mm -hmm. We can't see anything. What I'm sorry? Timer for what? That's really pretty, right? Been in the dark arts for a long time. So next year will be like 21 or 22 years in the dark arts. Oh wow! I knew it. Everybody was really talking um, highly of the Jamaican uh, Olympian. That she was going to be faster than Flojo. Because Flojo had the world record for um, being the fastest woman alive. Oh. And then the uh, other girl that was going to uh, represent the US Shikari, she, didn't, she couldn't go. She got suspended. And, uh, but everyone was saying that the, the Jamaican girl was still going to beat um, Shikari. That makes me a little bit sad though, because I'm such a huge Flojo person. Florence Griffith Joyner. What do you guys think? Really simple, right? You'd like to share? Very simple, huh? Very discreet kind of design. So like barely. So like what is one one hundredth of a second? So like a, not even a blink.
But congratulations to Jamaica for winning that gold. What about her uh, sister-in-law, Jackie? Then we're going to take a little bit of primer. We're going to go around the edges just to melt everything. It melts the edges, so that way everything stays nice and clear. I'm going to take Wonder Gel and we're going to seal the nail before we apply the diamonds on top just to accent it a little bit. It wasn't clear, huh? But to see the application, you can rewatch this video or any of them. We have over 10,000 tutorials on both Instagram and Facebook with full color, full step-by-step, -step, uh, one, two, three, go application. So I suggest you have a little binge watch and then you can see the techniques step-by-step. Not yet, no. Just the six shapes. And remember, they are limited edition too. So it's a one time release um, as far as production is right now. And I'm going around the rhinestones too. I don't want to put gel on top of the rhinestones because I don't want to give away that shine. The facets of the diamond today. When you put Wonder Gel on you guys, it's like we're frosting a cake. And then we're not going to put it in just yet. I'm going to take my same little art brush. I'm going to go around the cuticle with Wonder Gel just to make sure that it's all the way to the back. Super like Chanel, they remind me of.
really take your time when doing this stuff, you guys, so that way we have the best result possible, okay? And then I like to go over the edges to make sure everything is nice and skinny and mini. Oh, thank you. I feel like all the Olympians too, like nobody could go to the games or anything. The venues are like super empty. So much money making them. Do you like to watch any of the sports? Um, Track and field, I think are the most popular, huh? Or gymnastics. Oh, swimming and volleyball. Yeah. Is he skateboarding a sport this year? I think so. Like an Olympic sport. I think it's trying to get like more young people to watch it or something. Skateboarding. Really? Is Simo still an Olympic sport? Really? But don't they have to have waves for skateboarding? A day ahead. Beautiful. Turn the head upside down. Mm -hmm. And what that's going to do, it's going to let the gel self level out so that way we have a really smooth, flawless surface structure. Ooh, that's really hard. I don't know what people charge now, but I know it's really expensive. I heard like uh, full sets are like $60 now, $90 for like basic sets. So I think this will probably be $100 at least in a salon setting. So we're gonna bake it now for one whole minute. Charge according to your time. But also I think, for example, if it's gonna take you, when we film, it takes a little bit longer than it would in real life. So, let's say for when we film this, it'll probably take us maybe like three hours max for both hands. But if this was in the salon, I would probably say maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Let's say two hours. So I would charge maybe like $100 an hour. Just depends on how much product you use and how much time you can take out of your day. Bullion for the fantasy. This is from our diamond holics. Now, all of our diamonds, you guys, we extended the sale, so you have until Sunday. All of our diamonds, all of the gel that we have for diamonds, all of that jazz is on sale right now. 25% off. No promo code needed. Take advantage of that fantasy. That's a really good game. 25% off, no promo code needed for all the. So pretty. Are you living? This is a keeper. So I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, squeezy gel right here. Bucket list for her is for you to do her nails one day. Oh, that's 
that's what we see. Let's get these up and running. And then people always ask, like, how do you get so fast? And I don't think I'm as fast as I used to be because, you know, when you do it all day, you get pretty fast at it. But now that I do it, like, once a day, and it's not every day, I feel like I'm a lot slower. But also having to do the video takes a lot of time. I'm just going to add a little bit of rhinestone, nothing too crazy. No, don't listen to her. Gold bullion to accent. You will realize everything you do, always try to do it in odd numbers. Because oh, it just looks better. So if that happens, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Get some wonder gel. Or shiny, but wonder gel since it's a little bit thicker. See there we go. Well, we don't want to take away from the design, we just want to add to it. Dresses it up so fancy. Really? Mm -hmm. It's so elegant, huh?
Do you love it? Isn't it fancy? That's good. Right there, it needs a little bit more. There's here. One. Literally one. Perfect. And then we're just gonna freeze it for a few seconds. Wow, so chic. This one. From since uh, we reached 100 views. See, that's the great thing about putting rhinestones on with gel is that if you don't like how it looks, you can move it around until you are happy with it. That's right. The more bling, the closer to Jesus.
of it. I think that's good. We can bake it now for one minute. Really? Very glowy. Doesn't it look so pretty? It's a very Lena set, just it's too short for her. Because Lena, she, she'll stack the nails together, you guys. She'll put like them out to here. <laughs> She's like, I need longer nails, Max. Each finger 12 inches. Are you excited to pick a winner? You don't know. Oh, I know. That's the worst part. I'm glad it's you and not me. <laughs> Are you guys going to take advantage of the sale this weekend too? So dope. So many blings at the enalcouture.com website. Did you just turn back on? What? No. It's... Okay, it got brighter. I don't think so. Or maybe I did press the wrong button. I think I pressed the 90 seconds instead of the 60 seconds. <laughs> so we'll just make it a little bit uh, with the stronger lights. Just to make sure it's baked all the way. Did I show you guys yesterday the black diamond um, flash gel? We haven't had a giveaway recently. We did one, I think like a day or two ago, but uh, she was not. Yeah, if you want to, whatever you want. Make sure everything is nice and dry and secure. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. We're going to put a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. What do you guys think? Do you love it? So simple, right? Very discreet. Very nonchalant kind of nails. Very, you know, everyday kind of nail. Look at that shape. Nothing like a little black French for the Chanel fantasy. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate that. So, Miss Sherry, now comes your job. Who is going to be the winner, winner chicken dinner for today? Let's give it to. Drum roll, please. Antonia. Antonia is the winner for today. Congratulations. Been a long time that I can't remember the last time she won something. So congratulations, you already know what to do. Email info at enalcouture.com let them know you're the winner for today's live video. And you got you a free tube of pink DIY gel. Congrats, and that's gonna be a wrap for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to visit enalcouture.com for the best nail products in the universe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.